Good morning, Parkside. Welcome to this week's encouragement video. Thanks for tuning in. This morning, I, I want to share with you how encouraged I am by some of our partners in ministry and what God is doing in and through them. I, I want to tell you about two of them. Uh, the one is our sent missionaries, Rob and Lynn Walker. Now, you may remember they were on for oh, <clears throat> the end of last year and spent several months at Parkside. They're ministering in Brazil and doing an incredible job. God is working in them and through them and through the local church there in Dos Irmãos, Brazil. Uh, the church is growing. People are being saved. Believers are being discipled. Uh, and, it, and it's remarkable to see what God is doing. That's the fruit of a culture of discipleship that makes disciples here and then sends them out. Uh, and so as we think about discipling people here, we know that not everyone will be called to go. Some are called to stay here and be senders. But some are called to go and make disciples of all nations as they go to the nations. Uh, and we're so grateful for Rob and Lynn. What they're up to right now is as the church grows, they don't have a building and they are, they need one. Uh, and so they're in a building project. Uh, we're going to be able to contribute to that building project as part of our fall offering where they'll have a uh, a an auditorium that's multi-use, can be used as a gymnasium, a cafe for local outreaches, which they're already doing. And this will just pour gasoline on the fire of the ministry that's happening there. They'll have classrooms, they'll have office space. They're going to have some apartments for uh, visiting teams and pastors that are coming down to do trainings. Uh, we're so excited for this ministry partnership and uh, and for it to be part of the spring offering that we can give generously to this and see the work of the gospel continue to go forward. Now, I told you there was a second ministry partnership. Let me tell you about that one. Uh, it's church planting here in the United States. Now, Jeff Strickland and the Fields Church up in Westfield, Indiana, uh, we've partnered with. Things are going really well for them. They're growing. They're running. Uh, they, you know, remember, they just started last August, so like six months ago. Uh, and they're already running over 100 every single Sunday. There's about 75 members uh, at the field. I just spoke with Jeff yesterday. And one of the things that we're seeking to do is expand to have more USA-based church planning partnerships. We're doing a ton to send to the ends of the earth, but we know that America needs more healthy churches as America becomes more secular. So this Sunday, March 5th, we're going to have a, a church planter with us. He's planting a church in Fort Worth, Texas, uh, Trinity River Baptist Church in Fort Worth. It's a strategic area in a, a rapidly growing city, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Uh, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to be uh, at the church at nine o'clock on uh, Sunday morning, I'll be interviewing this brother. Super excited for you to hear from him of what God is doing uh, and the value of church planting there, the strategic aspect of it. Uh, and we'll be able to support um, this church plant through the spring offering. And so I'm excited to know what's happening there. I'm really excited for you to hear about it. And I'm excited that we as a church can partner in it. Now, that brother will also be preaching. He'll be in Acts 11, verses 19 through 26. So you may want to read ahead on that. Uh, but I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. What I'm going to do is tomorrow, I'll send out a letter with more information about the spring offering. Uh, but I want you to hear it from me first here, and then we'll explain it all throughout March. Parks, I love you. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you Sunday.